matter anymore. You don't want that for your democracy. We all want the same thing. It doesn't feel like that right now, but we all want the same thing. Can we please start a conversation? It's just closed doors and police barricades, and it doesn't feel like our democracy is whole. And that's not what you want, and this is your job. You owe it to us to speak with us. And, I, and besides, Secretary Cho, as a woman, can you please have a talk with your husband, the Senate Majority Leader, about the importance of believing women and the important you you knew what it was like being a woman in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s you've heard the stories i hope you never had something happen to you but you i'm sure your friends your family and as a woman you should be speaking out you should be ashamed and you should be using your power and your access to fight on behalf of all women and Senator McConnell, we wouldn't have to come to your house. You wouldn't have to have pissy fits on the floor of the Senate if you met with your people. My friends who live in Louisville, my friends who live in Pikeville and all over Kentucky, they can't get meetings with you. You won't meet with them. You will only meet with a very small select group of elite Republicans. So when you don't have meetings, when you don't practice the beautiful craft of democracy, we're left having to do the old fashioned way of coming over and sort of knocking on your door. Um, and, and you know, so you're making us do this. You are setting the terms of engagement and we have to adapt to your rules. And at the end of the day, I believe that this group and all of the people that have been flooding the halls of Congress been flooding all the offices, taking to the streets, that we will win because our lives are literally on the line. And the lot and the lives of our neighbors, our friends, hell, even the lives of people we might not like that much because our all of these lives matter and we all have to fight for justice. Why don't we do one more round of please vote no on